Uh, we have a, a, a few special guests with us today. Um, Assembly Member Rudy Salas, 32nd District. Bakersfield City Council Member Eric Arias, representing the 1st District. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our congratulatory speaker, Dr. Judy Badaksan, uh, with the Filipino American National Historical Association President, Emmanuel. Let's welcome her. I'm going to have, and it's so just, uh, just presented to 
If nothing else inspired you, then you're not going to get a tattoo. Just kidding. Yeah. Some of you are still asleep out there. <laughs> but it is very inspiring when we have ceremonies of that nature, or because none of the families have actually had experienced one. And we're the only uh, veterans related organization to still do this, this type of ceremony. And it's very impressive, you might say, having done 95 of them at the same time, or since 2017. As, uh, as Judy has presented to you, Judy the country is a second part of our mission. We did not want to end the Congressional Medal of Action just, just by giving you the medal, or presenting you the medal, which is your family's history. We wanted to create an education program called Duty to Country under one flag, a broken promise to educate our young generation in grades 6 to 12 students. And why it's important for us to know that the U.S. Television Relations that started in 1898 is still relevant today. We launched this program in January 2022. It is a web-based, online, interactive, state-of-the-art program, which you will see in a few minutes. That's complete with lesson plans, oral history, explainers, and also resources available that can be downloaded to this day. You can literally go onto the website and download it, but what our project is to get it down to the schools, and we'll be talking to Susan here in a few minutes about how we can introduce it in the school program. It could be taught by teachers uh, and also the culture and the institution. It was developed by Night Kitchen Interactive, uh, an award-winning education development program uh, company. It was paid for with your generous contributions and donations that we raised. So that the entire program that, uh, that you will see a preview of was paid for by Phil Becker. And it's no charge to the families and no charge to the students who want to download it. So with that, you know, there's no government funds. Our principal and only objective for doing the country is to reach the schools. Uh, we've already reached to about four schools in Bergenfield. New Jersey. We're going to be using it for the semester. Also, four schools in Hawaii. And we're on the market to at least do a pilot program with six other states. So, this is Phil Wittsrap's long term mission uh, to be the voice. We have to have an education program to continue uh, educating and inspiring the, the rest of America that we ought not to forget the contributions of the Filipinos, Filipino Americans, because we are literally part of that history. So let me now show you a short introduction, and I think you will be pleased with it, and I think I'll inspire you as well. So please show the video. Duty to Country tells the history of Filipinos' sacrifice and patriotism during World War II, and their decades-long quest for recognition and justice after the war. I think that oftentimes you get written out of history when you're not the one doing the writing. World War II happened in many other places, and my grandma was one of those people who experienced that, and why have I never heard anything about the Philippines during the war? No one talks about the Filipinos who were there, much less the fact that we took away their service afterwards. It's sort of a second-class kind of narrative about World War II. If they are rob you of your honor and betray you on the promise that was made to you, they don't pay you, and then they discount you. That's hard. You know, it's tantamount to being non-existent. The Duty to Country Education Project is dedicated to sharing the untold story of two nations, the United States and the Philippines, fighting under one flag. This ongoing project includes hours of oral history testimonies, a dynamic online exhibition, and profiles of key historical figures. Under One Flag begins with the colonial period, setting the stage and providing critical context. It recounts the stories of World War II in depth, from generals and privates to guerrillas and civilians, along with telling the larger story of the war in the Philippines through words, photographs, and documentary footage. It brings to life oral history testimonies through dynamic motion comics. 
The post-World War II era reveals the U.S. government rescinding its commitment to those who fought in the Philippines under our flag. The story continues through the contemporary period. For decades, Filipino Americans, veterans, and others have fought tirelessly all the way to the Supreme Court and into the halls of Congress for recognition, veterans' benefits, and rights of citizenship that had been denied to them. The Duty to Country Education Project features several hours of oral histories first-hand accounts of living veterans, historians, and community advocates. Why were Filipinos singled out? Among the 66 nations that were part of the Allied forces, Filipinos were singled out to be deprived of their rightful benefits. Why? I thought it would be easy to get their benefit, but I found out as a Yosabi veteran, you are a second-rate citizen. Duty to Country aims to recognize these men and women for their service and to prompt all Americans to recognize these events as part of our shared history. And it seeks to empower a new generation of young people to reflect on what we owe our country and how we can ensure America fulfills its promises in the future. I think most people, by and large, assume that we live in a country where a government does right by our people. Yet, when we uncover the story, it's a story that we need to remember so that we can remain vigilant. That story is not going to be told unless we do this education project. And we committed ourselves to making sure that that story also becomes enshrined in American history, much like the Navajo Code Talkers, much like the Japanese American Misei soldiers, uh, much like the African Americans who fought during uh, the Civil War because this story is part of American history.